After getting your first look at iOS 16 during WWDC, you may want to give the operating system and all its latest features a try. While the public beta doesn't start till next month, the developer beta is already out and on devices, and if you want to install it on your phone, you can. Here's how. While many people are excited to give the latest features a try, it's important to be aware that the software is in its early developer beta for a reason. It's not finished yet. There will definitely be some bugs, inconsistencies, and other non-optimized features that could make your experience worse, and it's generally not recommended to update your primary device. That's also why it's especially important to make a backup of your phone before updating. If something's really wrong with the beta, and you want to revert back to iOS 15, you have to restore your device, losing any data on it. The simplest way to create a backup would be to go into your iCloud settings on your iPhone and enable iCloud Backup. When your phone is locked, connected to a power source, and connected to a Wi-Fi network, it should all back up automatically. With your backup in place, you'll need to get the iOS 16 Developer Beta Profile, so you'll either need to be a developer or get it from a developer friend. Head to developer.apple.com on your iPhone and go to the Account section and make sure you're logged in. From there, you'll head over to the download section to find the profile downloads for all the beta programs. Of course, you'll want the iOS 16 beta, so scroll down to that and hit Install Profile. Hit Allow, and then you'll head into Settings. With the newly downloaded profile, you'll see a new option that says Profile Downloaded that will immediately take you to the profile. You'll then hit Install and put in your device's passcode. You'll have to read Apple's terms, hit install, then hit install one more time, at which point you'll be prompted to restart your phone. After you've rebooted, you want to install the new software update, of course. So head into settings, then general, then software update, where you should now see iOS 16 as available. You can then download and install the update to get all the latest features that are coming to the iPhone with iOS 16. Now, I've had a pretty good experience running the developer beta for iOS 16 so far, but it's still an early build with all the bugs and issues that come along with that. If after installing iOS 16, you realize it's not for you, you'll have to restore your iPhone. To do that, you'll want to start by turning off Find My on your iPhone. Then connect your iPhone to your Mac and boot the iPhone into recovery mode. On most devices, you do this by quickly pressing and releasing the volume up button, quickly pressing and releasing the volume down button, then holding the side button until you see the recovery screen. On your Mac, you'll get a prompt to restore or update, and choose restore. You'll then get another prompt to update your device, and choose install. After iOS 15 reinstalls to your device, you'll want to get the data from your backup. So on the Apps and Data screen during the setup process, choose Restore from iCloud Backup to get your iPhone back to how it was before you installed the iOS 16 beta. If this video helped you out, consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more from 9to5Mac.